Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Jake's Take with Jacob Ayesha podcast. I'm your host, Jacob Ayesha, the chief content producer and writer of jakestake.com, a pop culture entertainment news website. Now, before we get started, if you're listening to this episode today, please give us a five-star rating and please subscribe to our podcast, whatever you're looking for. It's just you and me today. So thank you so much for all your listenership this year. I want to thank everyone who supported and listened to this podcast. Because of you, we have doubled our listenership. Because of you, we are now in 92 unique countries or listeners from 92 unique countries. So thank you so much for that. Because of you, we doubled our downloads as well. So thank you so much to all for all of your support. We I really appreciate it. So let's get to the news. So the most downloaded episodes of jakesteak.com for the Jake's Take with Jacob Ellisha podcast are Nightbird ran away with this thing this year. For those of you who do not know who Nightbird is, Nightbird is the moniker for Jane Marzareski. She is a Zanesville, Ohio native that received Simon Cowell's Golden Buzzer during the America's Got Talent season 16 auditions. I loved hearing from Jane and I hope to, that she's doing great and I hope that we continue our conversation next year. Anissa Shiket was number two. She on our most downloaded episodes. She is fabulous, fabulous, and I love speaking with her. Followed by Jake's Take Friends One Accord, who were just who had an incredible year on America's Got Talent. And I cannot wait to see what they do next. I gotta give a big shout out to Brett Wagamont, who came on to celebrate our second anniversary. He was our fourth most downloaded episode of the podcast. Two of America's Got Talent's great vocalists for this year, Storm Large and the one and only Brooke Simpson, were fifth and sixth on this list. And if you're a fan of Survivor and the Challenge, uh, then Jay Starrett was num- our seventh, our eighth guest. He was fabulous. He was absolutely amazing. Great conversation with him. And also, I want to give a huge shout out to Nicholas Nick Hamilton of Captain Fantastic. And it chapter one and it chapter two fame. I love talking with him. Followed by the Curtis family C notes. They are an absolutely amazing family from San Francisco San Francisco. And you guys gotta check out their sound. They're absolutely fantastic. Like I said earlier, 92 country list we've had listeners from 92 unique countries this year. And our most listened to and our listeners that were in the most countries that were represented include this year were United States of America. Canada, United Kingdom, Australia, India, Germany, the Philippines, Sweden, Brazil, and France. So thank you all very much who listen in those countries, who listen to it. I really appreciate your support. Continue to please spread our podcast around the world because I would love to get another global audience for 2022. Now, some of my favorite conversations from 2021, a big of them are one, the first we got to get started with America's Got Talent. I want to thank a huge thank you to Scenario PR and NBC, because this was the biggest year that the Jake's Take with Jacob Ali Show brand has ever done with America's Got Talent. I had the opportunity to interview 11 acts, and of those 11 acts, 10 of them were quarterfinalists, and those quarterfinalists Seven of them became semifinalists, which made me so happy. And then finally, five of them became finalists. And two of them, Deb Brooks Simpson and Dustin Develop, became grand finalists. And then finally, Dustin Develop won an entire show. So that was amazing. Congratulations, Dustin. And congratulations to all those acts that participated on America's Got Talent this year. You all were incredible. And I also want to give a big shout out to my friends at the virtual press room because this was an incredible opportunity not just speak with the acts and the alums, but for the first time in my career covering the show, the one on air talent. And what I mean by on air talent, I'm talking about our judges and our host. I got to say, I want to say thank you so much to Howie Mandel for answering my question five different on five different occasions. Heidi Klum, thank you. I never thought I would get to have a chance to interview her or talk with her. So, and she talked, and I talked with her four different times. So it was great. Terry Cruz is the man. He did two. We talked for twice each. I never thought I would get to have a chance to talk with this amazing action star. And of course, Simon Cowell, the Got Talent creator himself, one of my all time favorite judges. 
Thank you so much, Simon, for I truly enjoyed talking with you twice throughout the season, and I hope to continue my co- interactions with America's Got Talent for season 17 and shows to come. All right, you guys, another episode that you got to check out is Grammy-winning songwriter and producer Desmond Child. Now, Desmond co-wrote so many incredible songs, some of my all-time favorites. He wrote song, co-wrote songs and produced songs for Aerosmith, for Bon Jovi, for Cher, for Joan Jett, for Katy Perry, for Kiss, Ricky Martin, and Zed. He also had a huge success with a with Ava Max's Kings and Queens this year. It was great. And you can catch that episode. It's episode 95 for our conversation. An incredible, another incredible singer and uh, vocalist is actually Aubrey Du Bois Harris. She was a guest on our 130th episode, Milestone episode show. I truly, she has one of the greatest voices I have ever heard in my entire career as an entertainment journalist. I loved learning about her relationship with the one and only Queen of Soul, Miss Aretha Franklin. And I loved learning about the story behind her album, Lift Every Voice. I want to give a huge shout out to Jay Starrett. He, I loved hearing about his Survivor first Millennials versus Gen X experience, his time on Exile on the Beach, and of course, his war stories, the challenge, Troll of Madness, and Challenge Double Agents. I loved hearing his story regarding how he defeated show icon C.T. Tamborello during that crazy elimination in the early days of the challenge Shoal Madness. And I also loved his insights on being part of Leroy and Teresa's final season, respectively. And I really hope and pray the challenge gods bring back Jay because Jay, in all honesty, spies, lies, and allies was not the same without you. So please, challenge gods, bring back Jay Starrett. All righty, my next, and you can check out Jay's episode on episode 102. My next guest, what I want to give a huge shout out to, is Mayor, Mayor, was Mayor Malik. Now, Mayor Malik is a singer songwriter, and we recorded our pop conversation on Rosh Hashanah before he was about to lead, right, to lead services in Israel. I love speaking with international guests, and that was just an amazing thing to have a record, have a recording from Kansas City talking to someone in Israel. That is never, that's still mind blowing. So, thank you so much to StreamYard for that. We're not sponsored by Streamer, by the way. Okay, but I loved what I love about Mayor's conversation was his approach to songwriting and the time that he spent with Alicia Keys when she visited the country. You can hear all about that at episode 133. I love talking with Sasha Allen. She was absolutely an incredible actress and singer. For those of you who don't who know her, she was who was actually on The Voice season four, fourth season on Adam's team and then on Shakira's team. She was a semifinalist, but I loved hearing her stories from her the revival of Hair of 2010 and also Pippin, not to mention performing in Havana, Cuba with the Rolling Stones. And you could check out that he band was Cuba Libre concert that Rolling Stones did. 500,000 people attended, and still it's been incredible to hear Sasha's story about that. Now, in addition to that, she also spoke interest about returning to voice for an all-star season. So voice producers, please get that ball rolling because I would love to come back and recap the show. I also want to give a huge shout out to Tabitha Fair. She's a singer songwriter and she was, was part of the Vol- the Kenny, Kenny center on a shows for so many times and so many editions of that show. It's one of my all time favorite shows and to hear the history of, of who she performed with on those shows is incredible. Not to mention, she also spoke about her participation in the presidential inaugurations for former presidents Bill Clinton and Barack Obama. And not to mention, I loved hearing her experience with Amy Grant, Carol King, and Sting. And by the way, she has a fabulous song out with Macau called Fly. You can hear that conversation at episode 142. Lastly, I want to give a huge shout out to my fellow pop podcasts and pop culture commentators that made a Jake's Take 2022 a huge success. I love chatting up with the following people. Brett Wagama, once again, always a pleasure seeing him, but also in talking to my friends like Challenge Mania co-host Scott Yeager and Angel Cake Entertainment's Drew Angelman and, po- and Mike Lewis podcast host Mike Lewis. Those are my guys. I really appreciate all of their time and energy that they put into bringing on into coming onto this podcast. I also want to give a huge shout out to Behind the Velvet Ropes 
David Yontef, Hot Takes Deep Dives, Jessica Roth with Jess Rothschild, and of course, Amplify with Jordan Emmanuel, host Jordan Emmanuel. Thank you so much to all of you who came on this podcast to talk about their, your ways of how you guys prepare and how you cover reality television, pop culture, and music and entertainment. I'm just in awe of all of your work. All righty, guys, we're going to switch gears and talk about jakes-take.com. Now, one of my favorite segments I love doing that's already actually up there right now is my top fan reality TV performances of 2021. Now, some of those include some of the shows that I covered, which were America's Got Talent, Season 16, and both Season 5 and Season 6 of the U.S. version of The Masked Singer. But I also sprinkled some of the show, some performances from American Idol. Now, some of the performances include Jimmy Harrod, who also came on the podcast. He's fabulous. He's great. One of a kind voice. I loved his entire journey on America's Got Talent. So he's one of the people that I have on there. I also want to give a big shout out to Niper. Was It's okay. It was a huge viral moment and a huge important moment for America's Got Talent, social media wise. Tori Vacacy's Heart of Stone. I watched that performance every single time and I still get moved to this day. Storm Larch's Take On Me, I would love to hear a cover of that song, and I would stream it on Spotify and also buy it on Apple Music. Willie Spence gave me chills when he covered stand-up when he was in America when he was on American Idol. And not to mention, I loved hearing the Curtis Van Lucino's rousing rendition of I Was Made to Love Her, which made Stevie Wonder proud. Finally, I want to give Cassandra Coleman from American Idol a huge shout-out as she held her own and, and sang. Go Your Own Way with the one and only Lizzie Buckingham. It was one of my favorite challenge, my favorite finale moments from this year. And then now over to the Mass Universe, where I got to see where the Queen of Hearts reigns supreme season six. And she, and I got to give Jewel credit, she was fabulous. And one of the performances that got her that win was her cover of Bishop Briggs' River. And I also want to give a huge shout out to Mass Singer Season 6 runner-up Todd Hall, who blew everybody away with each and every performance. But my personal favorite was his rendition of Britney Spears' Circus. Finally, I cannot forget the Yeti Mask, a.k.a. Omarion, for Bless the Broken Road. That song still gives me chills, and that was wonderful. Anyway, coming soon on jakestake.com, you'll hear from my favorite albums of the year, including Adele, Alicia Keys, Diane Warren, Ed Sheeran, Elton John, Jimmy Allen, and Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. And finally, my favorite songs will also be on there, including Adele's Easy On Me, Diane Warren, John Matisse, and Pentatonix Suite. And then podcast guests, Drumageddon, and Jeremy, featuring Jeremy Street Trouble, which is absolutely amazing. You need to download that song immediately. It's a great life affirming song. And Dylan Dunlap, who appeared on episode 100 of our podcast with the moving Follow My, Follow My Echo, followed by the triple punch of Jimmy Allen, Monica, and Will Brown's Pray. That's an absolutely amazing country gospel song. Beautiful. Followed by Sir Elton John and Stevie Wonder's monumental duet, The Finish Line. And not to mention Zach Brown's band's affirming the comeback, which was beautiful, which was a beautiful song. Now, guys, if you miss an episode of the Jake's Take with the Jacob Ali Sharp podcast, you can download episodes on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Spreaker, Deezer, Podcast Addict, and Podcast Addict. And are you on social media? Because I'm on social media, too. Visit me at Jacob Ali Sharp, J-A-C-O-B-E-L-Y-A-C-H-A-R on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Once again, Jacob Ali Sharp. J-A-C-O-B-E-L-Y-A-C-H-A-R. Now, if you're financially able to, please consider donating to my PayPal channel. It means a lot to me to have your support. If you're financially, if you're not financially able to, I totally understand. But a please, but a social media follow and a podcast subscription would be awesome. And guys, please visit jakes-take.com. It's the platform that started all of this, and I'm current. It's currently in its tenth year anniversary, and I'm very great. And I really hope to have this brand for ten more years to come. Boss awesome. guys, I want to say thank you so much for all of your support this year. It means the world to me to have incredible listeners and likers and like and likers of what I do. It means the world. I want to wish wish you and your families an incredible 2022. Have a great one, everybody, and. Thank you so much for all of your support and 
and I will see you in 2022.